Hey y'all, it's Maddie from the Itty Bitty Homestead Committee. I have a really interesting one for y'all today. Um, if you saw me on the live earlier, um, you'll know exactly what this is about. But if not, let's hop into this. Like I said, this one's really interesting. So in my rabbit breeding program, for the first two to three weeks of life, I will weigh all of the baby bunnies together in a litter and we'll look for a gradual increase in weight because we're not necessarily looking at individuals quite yet. We're just looking that we have full bellies and healthy kits from that standpoint. But once they get to the two to three week range and they start leaving the nesting box, we start looking at them as individuals. Well. When I was going through individually weighing out the rabbits, I found something really weird and really odd that I actually had to reach out to my mentor about. And I'm gonna throw the picture up right now. So what you see here is a transvaginal fissure into the anus that's become infected. Um, if you look at the area where the pus is coming out, it's very hard and um, it was warm to the touch. When I first sent this to our mentor in our group chat, um, we had people guessing that it was hermaphroditis, that it was some kind of weird infection. And we were going back and forth on it, waiting for her to type up a paragraph. And finally, when she got back to us, she explained that it is basically a hole from the vagina into the anus on the rabbit. And because you have fecal matter coming out of the anus, you, the uh, vagina area gets an infection on the inside and that's why it starts oozing pus. So after she answered all of our questions, I was very upfront with her and I asked, hey, should I cull out this rabbit? Is it going to be more humane or is this a fixable option? And she said, oh, this is actually a very simple fix um, because baby bunnies, when they're young, their genitals form very fast. And if you can catch it in time, it can actually heal itself. So she said that you should give your baby bunny a SIDS bath two times a day. And for those of you who don't know what a SIDS bath is, it's basically a bath of Epsom salt and a couple of other things to help clean that area. So I'm gonna show you what I did there. And I'm just gonna preface this saying that normally you would not want to bathe your rabbit. But in this instance, we want to make sure that they sit in the solution to clean the area because that area is very dirty. And since the anus and the vagina are basically one big hole, there's an infection festering there and we want to clean that so that it can heal properly. So let's go do that. So this is what I have. I have a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and Q-tips just to clean the area after the bath if it needs a more thorough cleaning. I have a towel for when the rabbit comes out of the bath and needs dried off. And then I have my SIDS bath, which is warm water, antibacterial soap, Epsom salt, and just all kind of slurried together. It's only about an inch deep or so. That way the rabbit can just sit in it and it doesn't come too far up on the rabbit to get them too wet. So this is the whole litter. I've pulled them away from mom just so that they could get weighed while I was also taking care of our one trouble child that needs care. These guys are actually really cute and really chunky. I love it. And here's our little girl on the scale, just making her daily weight. And here she is going into her bath. She's not the most pleased with it, and I can't really blame her, but I sat here and watched her while she sat in it for about five to ten minutes while I weighed her siblings and got some paperwork done. And here she is out of her bath. She was not yep, happy. I, really I just held on to her and cuddled with her for a little while till she okay. dried up a little Puppy bit. Now I kept the babies in the house until uh, the little black and white that we were treating was dry. But here they are a few hours later after I put them back. They're all good to go. Little Miss Treatment Girl. Um, I think we're naming her Basil. Uh, she's hiding in the very bottoms of the food bowl here. But she's doing really well. She's dried off and we haven't had any issue with it. Um, we just make sure that we do the suds baths early enough in the day in the afternoon so that at night she stays dry. That's the first time I've ever had to deal with that. I found it to be really interesting and I figured I would share it. And again, when it comes to our rabbits, most of the time we don't take them to the vet because we can deal with those situations here. And again, if a situation is too much for us to handle, most of the time we will cull the animal from our program. But I'm very happy to say that we are working on this issue here and even in the 24 hours that we have been giving this little doe her SIDS bath, it's been improving greatly. So I just want to say thank y'all so much for getting this far into the video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.